the Serbian flight attendant who survived a free fall inside a plane with no parachute. To be a survivor in a crash car or to have fallen into a river and come out safe and sound is the kind of experience that makes you reconsider your whole life. However, to some people, life has been more than generous and today we'll focus on that. Be prepared to hear the story of one woman in the world who survived a free fall inside a plane at 10,105 meters. On January 25, 1972, a woman named Vesna Volovich was working as a stewardess on an aircraft belonging to the Gant Airways airline as the plane was flying over a villa located in what used to be Czechoslovakia now the Czech Republic a bomb placed in the cargo section exploded and the plane split in two and passengers knew there was nothing they could do but wait to die surprisingly though Vesna survived the fall and lived to tell her story but here's the thing young Vesna wasn't even supposed to be on that flight in fact when interviewed she stated that it wasn't her but another woman with the same name who'd been on board that day However, Vesna didn't say anything because that would allow her to make her first trip to Denmark Sadly out of the 28 people traveling on that plane Vesna was the only one lucky enough to have survived However, the crash had resulted in her having two broken legs her skull fractured and three broken vertebrae One of which was crushed and left her paralyzed from the waist down for a period of time as if all of this wasn't enough the traumatic event also led Vesna to suffer from amnesia and it wasn't until one month later that she recovered her memory two days after the explosion on January 27 1972 a call was made to a local newspaper by an anonymous man who declared that a Croatian member of a nationalist group had been responsible for the disaster that took the life of more than 20 people back in that day even though this was never confirmed the mere fact of thinking that the incident could have been a terrorist attack made Vesna Volovich to be considered not only a survivor but also a hero. But how did she survive though? Well, a former German nurse named Bruno Henke attended the place of the crash looking to help anyone that could have survived when he saw Vesna's legs sticking out from the fuselage. Vesna was in the middle part of the plane with her head down and a colleague lying on top of her. Hanke, who had been with Hitler's troops as a medic during the Second World War, knew what he had to do. He treated her at the place of the accident, and after clearing her airway, she was taken to the hospital. It took three days for her to wake up from a coma. Her parents stated that when Vesna saw them in the hospital, she asked why they were still in Slovenia. Her memory loss had taken away the horrible memories of the fatal accident. After a few months of going in and out of surgeries, Vesna fully recovered and was able to keep working on the same airline in an office job however as the time passed she decided that it was time to fly again and so she did when interviewed Vesna was asked if she wasn't afraid that something might happen in one of the flights to which she replied you must remember that I have no memories of the accidents in other words there was no trauma now as we mentioned before Vesna didn't only live to become a survivor but also considered a hero and thanks to that the book of Guinness World Records offered her an award that was delivered by former vocalist and guitarist of the Beatles Paul McCartney Vesna died on December 23, 2016 and her story was published in an ebook called flying's strangest moments